Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio. In this video, we're going to go over some of our new AI tools, as well as the green screen feature and some color adjustments that we can do inside of Cray Studio 4. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how these work. All right, so I've already got some things laid out here that we can work with, with some of the tools that we're going to be showcasing. All right, so on this first selection, let's go ahead and go to our effects and components, and we're going to work with the green screen feature. So I'm going to drag this right onto my selection here. And this is going to go right on top of it. And you'll see it opens up the effects. If you're under settings, you'll see that once you select it, um, you can see multiple things related to that specific clip you have selected. But here in the effects section is where you'll see the green screen that was added, right? So if I open this up, I have some adjustments that I can make here, right? So let's open up the color section. And here is our green screen color. Now I'm going to use the eyedrop to select the green screen right here. And you'll see that it automatically keyed out that green from my selection. Now, there is some things I need to do because I do need to adjust the similarity so that it can then clean up some of that excess. If I go too far, you'll see that it kind of overtakes the image there. Um, but you'll also see that here there's some spillover on the from the screen to my keyboard there. So you don't want to go too far because it will kind of start to key out that. But we'll just go enough to where it takes care of the screen. And then from here, we can adjust the smoothness. And I don't need to adjust any smoothness in this one specifically. So I'll kind of keep that at zero, but my spill, and I just talked about a second ago, how it's going into the keyboard. I can then adjust that to where it kind of cleans up some of that green by left clicking on that spill and then moving it to the right. Um, again, if you go too far or to the left, you get that green, but I'll just kind of get it back right there. All right, so I've got that. We've got a good clean green screen image going on. Now what I can do is I can bring in what image do I want to replace um, and go into that screen there. So I'll go to my media here and I've got some files. So I'll just go in here and drag this Create Studio um, logo here. And you'll see that now I've got it nicely keyed out and then my logo then reveals on the screen. So this is great because for this type of scenario, you could use uh, like a business logo. Um, you can promote somebody that you're working with, right? So there's lots of different scenarios that you can use. This also works the same with video as it does with pictures. So again, just another way that you can incorporate green screen footage into your projects. All right, so now let's talk about our um, color replace and color removal. All right, so I'm gonna come over here back to our effects and components. And if I come down here, you'll see we have color removal and then color replace. So let's go to color removal first. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in color removal right onto my character track there. And you'll see that here it added it under effects and here's my color removal. And again, you can turn it on and off if you wish to kind of see A and B what you're working with, but just show you how it works. Now, let's say I wanted to color remove, um, let's say his pants there, right? So we can come here, go to the eyedrop, select his pants, right? It chooses the right hue. And then from here, we can choose the distance, right? So the minute I start increasing the distance, his pant color starts to remove, right? So this is just an example, right? But it shows you how quick and easy it is to remove a color, right? So that's color removal, right? All right, so now let's talk about color replace. So let's come over here to my Anne character here, right? She's over here, she's waving nicely. All right, so now what I can do is go back to my effects and components, and I will go to color replace here and drag this right onto Anne's animation. All right, and you'll see it opens up in the effects. And again, just like before, you could turn these on and off in AB if you'd like. Uh, but let's go ahead and add color to replace, and you'll see it opens up some options. So let's go ahead and choose our old color. So let's open this color section up. This is your color to replace. So let's select our eyedrop tool, and I'm going to select her shirt. So this kind of this green color here. And now I want to go ahead and choose a new color. So what color do I want her shirt to be? So I'm going to open up the new color and I can go to my selection here and you can see as it's, as I make my choices, it already starts adjusting, but let's go ahead and make it this red color here. And then from here, we can kind of adjust that from there. So now we've made her color from her old kind of greenish color to this kind of pinkish reddish color. So that's a nice way that you can do color replace. And again, this could work for a background as well. But again, that's just to show you how you can do this. And then if you wanted to add another layer to that, you could choose another color to replace and then repeat that process and keep going along the line, right? So again, pretty cool and powerful stuff within Cray Studio 4. All right, so now let's talk about some of our new AI features here. So I'm gonna open up the um, the AI uh, Create Studio AI toolkit here, and we're gonna focus on our remove text image on this selection, right? So I wanna remove this text inside of this guy right here. So I select it and then I come over here to remove text from image and it opens up the uh, removal um, options here. So um, it'll say it'll remove and attempt to automatically remove all text from the selected image there, right? So I'll go then select it 
hit remove, and it will then process that so that I can then utilize my image for something else that I may have. All right, so now you can see that the text has been removed from that frame there, and which is good. So now I can replace the text if I want with something else, or maybe I just wanted to remove the text from an image in general because I wanted the focus to be on the image itself. Maybe it was distracting, so I got rid of the text. So again, that's a quick and powerful tool within Create Studio 4 that you can quickly remove text from images that you may have. All right, so now let's move on down the line to this family photo here, and we're gonna open up the AI Toolkit again, and then we're gonna focus on the object removal. So say, for example, that this wasn't the family dog, right? Let's just, this is just an example, right? But we wanted to remove this, this dog from the image here. So what I can do is um, go to my AI Toolkit, open up the object removal tool, and then you'll see here is where I can um, utilize and make edits to this photo, right? So I have two options. I can draw and drawing across the image here will then allow me to choose what I want to remove from the object. And maybe I over selected or did something more so I could click erase and then this will then erase my selection, right? So you have two options um, to correct yourself. And then you can also adjust the size of your, um, of your wheel here, or you can adjust the opacity of it, right? If you want to see more, but let's go back to draw. I'm going to draw around and it does work a little better as well. If you choose a little bit more than just the selection itself, it kind of helps the AI kind of understand what's around it. And we'll then also remove that um, and correct those features for you faster, right? So if I, once I got that selected, I can then click remove and then it's going to work and do its magic in the background again. And then it will remove that dog and make it look like he was never there to begin with, right? So that's, that's the power of the AI object removal tool. Um, so let's see what that looks like. All right, so now that it's complete, it has removed the dog from our picture. And if you didn't know any better, you would never have thought that there was a dog in the image itself. So again, just a use case scenario for this specific instance, but there are many different ways you can utilize the object removal tool for your projects and all the needs that you may have. So again, it's really awesome that this is baked into Creative Studio 4, so you can then enhance your projects even further. All right, so let's work our way to our last example here. And we've got this picture here and we want to go ahead and remove the background. All right, so again, I'm going to select this image here and I'm going to go over here to my AI toolkit and we have our background removal tool. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the background removal and then I'm going to go ahead and click remove background. All right, and so again, it's going to work in the background. You see the spinning wheel there, it's spinning knowing that it's in process. And then once it's done, you can see that here is our background removal. And so what I could do from here is now I can put her in any scenario I want, right? So I come over here and for example, maybe I just want to add a blank background. I come in here to rectangle and I could put this underneath her as a secondary layer there. And I could then expand this out and then I can also change the color of it, right? We can just make this white or, you know, whatever color we want really. Um, and then kind of layer and add as we want to create the scene that we want. So that's an overview of our AI toolkits, our green screen features, our color replace, color removal tools inside of Create Studio 4. Hopefully you got some really good quick tips out of this. Can't wait to see what y'all create. And I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Thank you.